Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Ranch Garage. I'm Greg. What we're up to today is we're going to get the handlebars put on the hardtail bobber and uh, try and get this thing fired up. So grab yourself your favorite beverage, some jitter juice, or maybe even a cold beer. And let's do this. Okay, guys, this is why I'm new to the garage. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace for 25 bucks, about okay, about 15 miles from me. Came with a remote, the, the manual, the whole nine yards for 25 bucks. You can't go wrong. But the main reason I got this for is so that I can look and uh, order parts if I need to. It's connected to my laptop. I have a hard time seeing the laptop. So, yeah, this is this is going to be just perfect for what I need to do. And then plus, I can look at diagrams for electrical. Uh, I zoom in on a certain section. I can be all the way over there in, uh, in the car. Without my glasses, I can read it. So I can chase wires. The only time I have to get up is if I need to move into a certain section, but why not, right? Uh, but, and also what's nice being hooked to the laptop, this mouse is acting up, my battery might be dying, but uh, I've been watching uh, Elon at Rusty Beauties, and this is his newest video, he just came out with it today, this morning. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I've been watching that, but I want to put a challenge out to you guys. Uh, give another channel a shout out. Uh, it helps their channel out, and you know to get views and possible subs and interaction. Somebody that hasn't seen their stuff, it, it, it leads them right to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shout out uh, Elon. Rusty Beauty's Garage on this video. I'm going to do that with the next few videos or so or whatever and just give shout outs. And uh, hopefully we see the same from you guys. All you guys that out there that uh, have uh, garage channels. Shout out a small channel. Shout out another channel. Somebody that you work with. It helps out a lot. So I'm going to put Elon's link right here above and down below in the description so you can go check him out but let's get to the bike yeah you seen in the last video you'll have to go back and watch it that we got uh, Jim bought these bars at a swap meet and I pulled the old bars off this is the original riser handlebar clamp uh, for the bike and as you see, you cannot get that on there. And you ain't going to spread this apart because you're just going to break it. Uh, so they just slipped over to hold the handlebars like so. And they had shims in there because this is a one-inch clamp to a seven-eighths bar. So they had shims in it. So I went and I picked up a set of dual clamp risers. Uh, not sure what they're off of. Probably an ATV. But, hey, this is a rat bike. You put on there what you can and make it work. Um, so that's going to do the trick. These parts here are what came with the risers. They're the rubber bushings that went down in uh, with the bottom clamp caps. Uh, I do not know. I don't think I'll be using them. I may use those washers. I don't know. Uh, they're two-piece like so but uh, but these are the original uh, that went into the triple trees to hold the bar in place so I probably want to try use them first so uh, I'm gonna pull this back apart so I can get these in easier to, to work with first and then put the bars back on so I'll set you back up over there once I get these apart and we'll get these put on I did put a washer 
in between the riser that and that uh, part to see. I'm going to have a little issue with the Speedo, which don't work at all anyway. Just a hair of an adjustment. Well, we'll see if we can get that, make that work. I may have to, the way it's looking, I may have to shim it. I'll kind of show you what I'm running up against. is right here it's riding on this bracket so uh i don't want to see in that piece there that's here sits down in like so i may need to put another washer in between that and the riser to get that clearance so let's see what we can come up with okay guys i got the heater on so you'll have to bear with it. it's getting a little cold in here but i did manage to come up with a spacer right there between the bottom part and the washer which is underneath there's a washer in there uh i may look at something try something different later but just to get these bars on and get the bike to where it's movable, uh, I'm going that route. But I, this is kind of the way it's set up. There's a washer, the spacer, and then the part that goes into the triple tree. And, and then there's another one of these that go underneath with the nut. And then a cotter pin to keep everything from working loose. So, uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I got the lower trees on, and I have them just loose so I can mount these bars and uh, not have to. I'll go back and I'll tighten down those nuts once done. Did that so that I can align them with the bars, get the bars aligned on the trees evenly. guys know about rat bikes rat cars you do what you can with what you got you don't gotta have new shit just something that's gonna work and I'm just gonna snug these down just a hair stay in place and then get them even side to side oh, that's about right that's gonna make a heck of a difference that's gonna be wild uh, and now I'm gonna try and set the bike up right and get I'm gonna tighten down the bottom bottom nuts, put a pin in both sides like they're supposed to be, and then adjust the bars and then we'll put all the controls and everything back on it. I didn't hit record, but I got this one pretty snug. much in the way 
you only get quarter swings at a time. I hate that. You really, I mean, I could have tried to get a socket to put on there, but yeah. Oh, come on. I think I'm going to hit the tripod. There, we're getting it. Good enough for now. need some tightening. These are metric and I'm using a standard wrench. They're still kind of loose. I'm noticing. They're still loose in the tree, so I'll have to take care of that some some way, somehow. We'll get to that point. But get it to where it's gonna be comfortable riding. I don't like my arms straight out. Too rigid. I'd like to have a little bit of bend in the elbows. And I think that's gonna be about right. So I'm gonna try and tighten these down. Okay, guys, it's always something. Uh, go to find out that the, the shank, where the thread starts, way too low. So I need, I needed to put spacers. I could either figure out spacers here, get this raised up, but I have an issue with the bracket for the speedometer, or spacers down here, which I did put one washer in there, and it's still, it's still loose. Uh, what I need to find some washers or uh, something to, to take up that slack uh, I'm just gonna lay I don't have any I don't have any laying around I, I've been digging for a half hour now and nothing I can't find anything so it's gonna be what it is for right now uh, I did write it down so I remember to take care of that issue but we're just gonna get the bars and all the controls and the mirrors back on and I got a new battery we're gonna install that uh, check the carburetor again and see if, if we can figure out why it was dripping a little bit if you look back in the last video I'll put the link up up above right there and uh, you can go check that out and see but we need to get that squared away and see if we can get this thing fired Well, I got the, the uh, controls, the clamps and stuff up on the bars. Uh, they're loose, but just so I can do some adjustments. Um, I don't think we're going to go back with the control that was over here. That was not in use. So I'm going to talk with Jim and see what we're going to do about that wiring. But I'm just going to slip this grip old school pops uh, pop bottle grip and uh, we'll bring that out and figure out where we want to mount them so you're comfortable when you're on the bike you can just grab hold of them that'd be probably pretty good so I'm just going to snug it down for now. Uh, 
didn't snug it down too too easily. Break my tray. Step on it. Catch a pin. I'm gonna have to. I might have to rearrange this cable or zip tie it some way over here. It's just kind of at an angle to where the adjuster is. That's for the clutch. Feels pretty good. So that's the wire that we took off. Bring that up on. You want so you want to whenever you put a grip on, you want to get it to where you can roll the throttle to full throttle, which. I would be bending my arm pretty tight, so so that's about where we want it at. Um, just so whenever it's on idle, it hands off the throttle, and then you can roll in and get full throttle without really hurting your wrist too much. There you go, that'll work. The carburetor's moving nice and smooth. I mean, there's not many times you're gonna be riding around and need to pin it to full throttle either. So. <laughs> so that you can grab the front brake if you need it. Which a lot of old school choppers don't even have front brakes. may need to shim that because it's acting like it's not going to clamp. Yeah, there it goes. I kind of like that. I like the feel of that. Just going to get those bars to tighten up. No big deal. So there we are so far. I'll worry about those wires. It's not going to have nothing to do with the uh, starting of the bike. They don't get used anyway. But this is the clamps for the mirrors. And <coughs> I didn't put them on. Shit. <laughs> just like doing a brake line, you forget to put the freaking barrel on first. But we definitely don't want. There goes a freaking washer. Hopefully, I can find it. Off in the middle of freaking who knows where, God's country. But these mirrors that we had on the old bars hanging down below. So that when you're riding, you still have. Your, your visibility underneath to get the look back behind you. All you're doing is looking underneath your arm. And I don't know if we want them out that way. Maybe just clamped on like that. But I should have put them on first. <laughs> These clamps, I could spread them apart to slip them over. Uh, might have to go that route. I'm thinking I'm going to mount them right here or 
Yeah, I think I might mount them up here. Just get. <sighs> Not going to make much difference to. Up here, I can move them out if I need to, to get out around my fat ass and see what's going on. So we'll go up here. So, spread them apart, hopefully enough to slip it over the bar. I should have just, well, I'm going to pull this side off. I'm not, I'm just going to pull them back off, put them back on. So, I'll bring it back when I get that done. Okay, so there you are. We got the. Everything back together. I'm hoping I got that mounted on. Yep. But uh, got the mirrors on. You can barely see them underneath there. But uh, let me pull you off here and give you kind of a view from the driver's perspective. I'm thinking of just ditching one of them. Because uh, when you're riding on the road, you got to pass somebody. It'd be best just to have this beer anyway. Uh, I think I might ditch the one on the right. Yeah, but we have a new battery. We got to get that thing filled with acid and pull this old one out. Get that dropped in and wired up. And we might be able to fire this girl. Oh, need to look at the carburetor too. We got the battery sitting here. I gotta undo my dog leash to get the old battery out. <laughs> kind of hard to do one hand in. I still need to uh, go and undo the screws on the top. And we'll drop the new one in. Hook her up. And then I'm going to kick it and see if we get spark. I got the spark plug sitting there. So uh, let me set you up. And we'll get this battery swapped. <sighs> kind of tough. Getting the camera. lined up to where you guys can see what's going on but then i put my arm in the damn way all this um battery is for is just to for the ignition system and it does not have electric start so once it's fired to give it enough juice to Get the uh, stator and the uh, <clears throat> ignition system enough juice to fire. And it will run right off the right off the stator. What elect what electrical it does make. So now I got to fight with trying to get this thing up out of there, which has been in there probably. 20 years, but uh, I wouldn't say that long. Maybe close to that, but let me fight with getting that out of there. I need to move the camera. Make sure it's the same way. Hook it back up. Reason why it was such a bear is we got rubber, old piece of inner tube in there to take up the space. There we go. We got her going now. Nuts, bolts, and washers. These little nuts. <sighs> Excuse me. 
they slide in the end and then you put the bolt through your connect, connect wire and down into these nuts and a lot of times these bolts aren't long enough to reach that nut so you may need to get a screwdriver and slip it up underneath to raise the nut enough to where you can get this started so that are all hooked up tightened down strapped down now i'll set you up let's see if we got spark okay let's see if we got spark i can't tell from where i'm standing looking down to see if we got spark i'm going to try some different positions on the butt on the ignition switch and see <coughs> If we got a spark I don't see nothing from what I can see I'm trying to let's try this position here oh yeah I think I've seen a spark let me look back on the footage I gaff the plugs clean them up Put them in, and we do have juice, as you can see the lights on. And uh, but I don't have no headlight, so I switch it back, and uh, I gotta check and see if it might be. Let's see, I don't have no headlight. It's on. We'll flip it to the middle position. There's nothing. That's off. Tail lights off. So. Uh, it may have something to do with the wiring that I clipped for the, for the, uh, headlight switch. I'll have to look into that, but we knew we have spark. Uh, now I want to look at, see what's going on with the carburetor and see if it's, if I just need to snug up the bowl or where we got that little leak. Okay, guys, uh, we are at the moment of truth, hopefully. Uh, I did look at the carburetor, and it's still seeping. I think that the, <clears throat> that the fluid is sticking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the pack cock. I'm going to give her some prime kicks, which you'll need to do with this, get some gas into the, into the cylinders and shut the gas back off or whatever gas is I mean the, the float bowl should be full I shouldn't even need to do turn, I won't turn it on it should be full so we're going to try to bust this thing over and see if we can uh, bring some life to it but I'm not I have the ignition off I'm going to give it about half throttle just give her some prime kicks to suck fuel into the cylinder we'll turn around and see what see what happens she should hopefully touch off maybe turn that on see if that helps Oh, oh she back kicked on me. Love it, love it. Man, yeah, there you go, guys. She runs. Gonna need some tuning, some TLC. 
some other things. But uh, it wore me out just kicking it just a little bit. But uh, I need to I, I check the older oil with it. I didn't want to run it too long because the uh, clutch case. I ain't sure if it got fluid in it. I don't want to run it. If it's dry, I don't want to run it too much. But we know it runs. I gotta take care of the lights. That's a bunch of little things. So I am gonna try and wheel this outside. Just that short amount of time it stinks in here. Ah, right. at least it'll be out of my way. But yeah. The old orange crush is back at it. Nice. Well, here you go, guys. We got the old bobber fired up. I think she might be running on one cylinder. It was only running for a few seconds. I don't want to run it too long, but we know she'll run. Uh, I'm going to grab some new plugs for it. I'm going to work on that wiring to find out if we really need it or not. If not, we're just going to we're just going to delete it. I got to get the headlight working. Uh, this bike is so old that uh, you ain't gonna ride it at night anyways uh, but at least you got a brake light and a headlight uh, you don't need turn signals Lucas Electrical the Prince of Darkness you might as well hold a big lighter out there between the handlebars it's probably just as bright a light as what you'll get from the headlight on that thing but we're just going to tinker with it a little bit here and there. Uh, once it starts to get warmer, I, I may take it for a little rip. Uh, check all the fluids and everything, you know. But, hey, at least she's fired up. I got her out of the shop. She's out on the, out on the front porch. Uh, but, yeah, another project in, in the books. If you guys want to see some more of it, of this bike, maybe do a walk around there, kind of talk about the history of it, and where it come from, and what we've done to it. You know, let me know. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys, really do. Uh, we're growing, but we're starting to grow slowly again. Uh, if you like this stuff, click the subscribe button. Leave a comment. I always try to reply to my comments. If you've got questions, go ahead and ask me. I'll always try to reply to them. Uh, and it's a good way for me to find your channel. So if you got some good stuff, or even if you're just a supporter, uh, if you support the channel, I subscribe to uh, channels that don't even have any videos. So if they're a supporter of my channel, I'm the supporter of them. Uh, but uh, give me a big thumbs up and not the finger. And why don't you go check out this video. And we'll see you on the next adventure.